one. So in this particular screencast, what I'm going to do is uh, give you a tour of Xcode because you will be spending a lot of time in Xcode, pretty much all your life in Xcode, if you are developing for iOS application. So Xcode is basically a visual editor. If you are coming from a uh, C Sharp or a .NET background, it is kind of like a Visual Studio. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say new and then I'll say new project. And it will give you many different options to create, okay? I usually go with the window-based application because this is the simplest. It doesn't really mean that it's uh, for Windows only. Uh, it will just give you the, uh, the basic structure necessary to launch your application, okay? So I'm just going to select window-based application and uh, whatever you want to type. Let's say, hello world or, uh, I don't know, learning iOS hello world, okay? If I can spell learning, learning iOS hello world. And you can, of course, select the device, which is like the iPhone, iPad, or Universal. I'm just going to go with the iPhone. And it, now it's going to ask me, where do you want to put it? I'm just going to put it in my documents and create the application. So here we go. So this is the Xcode, and I think this is 4.1, and the latest one might be 4.2 or something. But... Uh, so when Xcode actually adds your files, it creates a delegate for you. This is where your application will, this is like a, like a launching point. Of course, the main launching point is the main one. But uh, you will code in this and you will add, you know, uh, uh, view controllers and all that stuff over here. If you are not familiar with the model view controller pattern, then uh, you should go ahead and be familiar with that because the iOS application basically relies on that pattern. Okay, model view controller or MVC. But in this particular uh, application, we're not really going to code anything. We're just going to look around in Xcode so that you will feel comfortable. Uh, this is basically your solution explorer, which I say. I don't know what, that's, what the real name is, but uh, there's a main window over here, XIB or a ZNIP file. Is, uh, is basically a file for the interface designer. So you can drag and drop your controls over here like a text box or a table view or a, I don't know, a toolbar, things can, like that. Uh, Info.plist, no, this one actually. It's uh, like, like a settings file. It contains information about the app itself. And you can say the build version, uh, the product name, you can describe the product name over here, the bundle identifier when you're publishing the app. So all these necessary things. Then we have the editor window. Um, you know, if you click over here, and this mask person, I don't know what the sign is, but uh, you can actually separate it between the delegate and the implementation. So you can actually see that all these files exist as a .h or .m. .h is basically a header file. Okay, it contains all the, I would say, all the definitions. Okay, that will be implemented in the implementation file, which is m. So .m is the implementation file. Um, let me actually search over here. So the first one view so this is a left view and you can actually see that the this left view is kind of depressed which means that this is available if i do like this it will be hidden all right if i want to see the console this is the view for that actually let me pull it out a little bit more so you can see all right and this one is the for uh help menu and all the other stuff all right so if you want help, it's uh, it's pretty simple actually. Just click on the on the method or on the class, and it will just give you a very quick help, you know, about that. Like application will resign active, and you can see all the help. And if you click on it, that's a cool thing. If you click on it, or you have to double click. Here we go. It will actually load the documentation. And trust me, uh, Apple documentation very very thorough. Okay very nice work what other things we have we have organizer over here and I usually use the organizer when I'm publishing the app to the Apple Store um, and I organizer basically organize the devices uh, the repositories your projects archives uh, and of course the documentation itself okay and we will 
We will actually check it out when we are publishing an app. If you see this one, the last one, the view, and if I open up this one, here we go. And let me pull it up. Here is our toolbox. So here are all the controls that you can use in an iPhone application. Okay. So let's say I want to create a label. Bam, I'm done. What about if I want to create a button? Here we go. There's a button. And of course, when you click on these things like a label or a button, this appears and you can actually check out different things about the button. You can set properties of the button. So let me say that uh, the title of the button is Hello World. So here we go. We have the title of the world, uh, title of the button as Hello World. Pretty simple, right? You can make the button much bigger. You can change the text color. You can change the shadow color, uh, the image. I don't really have any image, but you can set the image of the button, the background image of the button. Uh, you can also change uh, where it is. Yeah, you can also change the display of the button. Right now it's displaying as a rounded rectangle. You can say detail, disclosure, info, dark, and all that stuff. Okay, and of course, this window where it says like a ruler or a scale, you can change the size of the button. Of course, you can also drag and drop the button. I mean, drag on the button, and if you cannot get a hold of it, here we go. So, we can actually change the size like this also. But if you want some special size, then you can change it from here. Documentation you just click over here on this uh, wave thing, and it will give you all the documentation. What else? The class of the button. You can change the, the button class if you are creating a new class. And there are, of course, different kind of uh, uh, controls that you can use. This is a switcher control. You know, when you put your alarm on and you switch it on. Uh, text box and all the stuff you can, uh, you know, drag and drop it. Of course, this really will be on the display and you cannot use it in your code right now. And we'll, we'll actually see how to set up the Hello World program in the uh, next, basically, uh, you know, what is that? The next uh, screencast. This is very important. Again, this uh, shows you the name of the project, and it also shows you what kind of uh, simulator you have. So it has 4.3 simulator. You can run it on the iPad. Uh, you can run it on the iPhone and iOS device. So if I connect my device, let me actually do that for you if I can, okay? You will see that it changes if it recognizes it. So I'm just going to connect my device. You see the sound. And now the iOS device should change to, uh, I don't know, Muhammad Azam iPhone device or something like that. Let's see. So right now it's saying waiting for the device. So it's kind of hooking up the device. Is it going to change or not? Hmm. Interesting. So I think it's using, it's not changing because it's iOS uh, version 4.3 and I don't have that in my iPhone so what I'm going to do is change uh, let's see these are all the settings basically okay so I'm going to change 3.2 now I don't have 3.2 I have 4.0 but it will be okay and my phone is displayed over here as you can see Muhammad Azam iPhone all right now this it was not appearing before uh, because the version of iOS it was looking at was I, uh, the IST, I mean iPhone SDK 4.3, which I don't have it on my iPhone. Okay, I have 4.1 or 4.0 or something. So now I am saying that the deployment target is 3.2, which mine 4.1 is greater than so it will show it over here but anyway that's technical stuff all right we'll discuss that in the later screencast that's pretty much it and if you do like the screencast just comment it if you like to see some other things comment and uh we'll actually i'll create more screencasts and upload it during the weekend thank you very much